Thank you. Good evening, morning, night, or afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back if you are here from the previous broadcast. Uh, sorry about the delay, guys. We had a bit of trouble getting everybody in, um, so it is going to be starting a little bit later, but nonetheless, we will be starting fairly soon. Uh, I, myself, am Harrelson. Joined by my side is uh, Midnight, co uh, well, not co-caster, he's the cameraman and provider of all the servers. And we have Schmaldo, who's going to be quickly going over the roster rundown. Hello, guys. So we have a team 911 and Cool Clicks Club. 911 have a Frape, Thug Life, uh, Tosh, and Martin as a sub. And Cool Kids Club have a Frey, Slip Knots, Murph as a sub, and Mr. Jerry. And we are live. Indeed. So there's two subs. Um, as we said, uh, 911 are going to have Martin and uh, the Cool Kids Club. Never mind. Uh, Boomer moving in now, getting a Boomer to one. Charger moving in from the back and the generator, not connecting with anybody. Getting a scratch, though. Uh, Dick is being pulled straight through the air there into the roof. That's Ooh. funny. Um, he didn't take any fall damage, I don't believe, but still, he was pulled straight through the air, so that was interesting. Um, nonetheless, the survivors are going two separate lo um, directions, but the spawns will be down a little bit, so it won't matter too much. Interesting smoker pull there. That was interesting. So we have a, a spitter so far, accompanied with a boomer and a charger. Final spawn will be in four seconds. Um, Survivors are just going to be making their way over the ramp here. Uh, not likely to be an attack. We have a tank at 38%, which will be um, fairly soon. They will get an attack before it, though. They're at 25% at the moment. So as I say, Boomer, Charger, Spitter, and a Hunter. Tank is now spawned, so they didn't choose to attack. There's a Boomer rocketing in, but he's seen immediately. Hunter is shut down mid-air as well. Two spawns shut down in the air. Uh, so far, they have a Spitter who's going to look for a delay. Car is... Nearly hitting Ellis there, actually. Very fortunate. That was close. For that. Yeah, very close. That that was um, fortunate for them. Unfortunate for the tank. He's going to be moving the car in now. It's going to be a Slipknot tank. He's moving the car in. Just barely misses again. Uh, unlucky. Going to be making his way onto the roof. He's still on 100% of his pass number one. Uh, they have a smoker and a charger so far. Um, final spawn will be in the hands of Smurf the sub. He'll be in two seconds. And he will be playing a Hunter, so no Boomer to work with, but he still is on pass number one. Uh, nevertheless, it looks like he is going to be choosing to go... Um, well, he's going to reposition onto the roof above the survivors. He does have the option to jump through the uh, window if he wants. Could even look for the car if he really wanted to. Um, but it, it, you know, he'll take a lot of damage doing it. He's just going to go straight in through the doorway, going to look for... Um, hasn't got his eyes on anyone yet. He's going to be uh, missing the first punch, but there's a hunted victim and separated there, and a smoker. Charger is a bit delayed, though, and he's moving in onto, onto Ellis, gets a charge-scratch combination. Tank is trying to spread the damage, gets a final punch onto uh, Nick. One more punch onto... Well, not final, one more punch onto Ellis, uh, but they did survive quite well there, I have to say, Shmuldo. Yeah, very good play from Team 911. Um, like, yeah, it was fast shutdown, really fast, actually. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, the charger was a little bit delayed. He didn't go with the other spawns, and I, I think he might just have missed the spawn there, really. Um, nonetheless, they are with four medkits, and nobody needs to use them. They say they also have a set of pain pills to work with. Um, Hunter, Smoker, Jockey, and a Boomer um, for the caravan here. They're just climbing up and down the ladder, trying to bait out some spawns. Jockey moves in. Uh, will be shut down before any connection is made. There's a Hunter victim in the back. He will be cleared as well as a boom onto him and smoke and separation in the back temporarily onto coach. He will be cleared and that will conclude the attack. Reloading. Just going to be clearing his common infected and moving up now. Um, Nick is still behind the ladder, but the spawns will be down for at least four seconds. The witch is at 67%. Um, hasn't spawned yet, but will be a bit later. So far, they have a charger accompanied with a spitter and a jockey. So they already have a charger jockey combination. Uh, probably hoping for a smoker here, but they do get a boomer instead. Uh, still a good setup for where they're going to be attacking. It's a very closed uh, area, kind of like a corridor. Uh, it's good for a charger, especially with um, with a spitter. Boomer goes from the front, gets a boomer to one survivor. The spawns are moving in. Jockey first. Charger doesn't go with him though. Is going to move in now, a bit separated, and unfortunately for them. Due to the stagger in the attack, um, not much damage is happening apart from the common infected on Coach in the back, but he has a golf club, he's just swinging. I feel like a team cool Clips club, cool... Oh, fuck. <laughs> that team is kind of lacking communication, to be honest, like, seeing from those attacks. Yeah, so far we are noticing that. It, it could be that they 
Um, I th actually, no, I, d I do believe they practiced before this game. Um, they didn't practice as a team, they practiced in a mix, but they did practice before this game. Um, so I, I, they're probably still warming up, to be honest. They do have um, a sub in their team, or both of them do, but Infected probably is a little bit more difficult to play with a sub than Survivor. Um, so we're going to see if they warm up a little bit more here. Which is just at the doorway there in the distance. Um, Survivors are going to look to deal with her. They have a Boomer, Jockey, Charger, and a Smoker to contend with. Charger moves in straight away. He's going to try and scratch the Witch. He's gone in a bit too early. Uh, he He's caused a bit of distraction, though. The Smoker tries to pull into the Witch. The Witch is moving in. So are the Spawns. Boomer goes in, gets a Boom onto one. Uh, the Witch is still oh, no. moving. She gets the in-cap, actually. That's 25 points denied. And an in-cap onto Rochelle in the back there. Unfortunate for them. That was unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, well, that, I mean, she still has pain pills to work with, but two survivors are currently slow. Um, that's going to be Rochelle and Nick. Uh, and they still have a bit of the map to get through. They're going to need to be uh, quite swifty if they want to uh, keep these medkit. Charger, Smoker, Hunter, and a Spitter is the setup they have to work with here in this house. And there's one person in the back, but they are aware of where he is. Hunter's going to move for him. Six damage pounds onto him in the back. Smoker charger combination here with lots of scratches going in. Nick is going to take a lot of damage. The spit can't coordinate with them, though. Uh, but still, good damage onto Nick. But overall, Team Cool Kids Club dealing good damage so far. Kind of surprised, to be honest. Yeah, the, I mean, um, it's unfortunate about the tank, but they are making up for it somewhat with their infected gameplay. It's just they need to try and get rid of some medkits here because they still have all of the bonus points for the medkits at the moment. However, they did deny the bonus points for the Witch, so that can work in their favor later on. Uh, Jockey, Charger, Boomer, and a Hunter, so it's a tri-cap with a Boomer and without the Smoker. And Spitter. There's a Boomer from below as well as a Hunter. He's going to wall kick for Ellis in the back there. Gets a successful connection. There is a Boomer onto one survivor. Jockey's trying to go for Ellis as well. Final remaining spawn is the Charger. He's going to try and separate somebody. Isn't going to make the connection though. He's going to just pummel into the wall. Trying to look for some scratches onto um, Coach below there. He will go down for his troubles. And that's going to conclude the attack still with one slow or two slow survivors. However, it's still looking good for them. They might be able to make it in here with all four medkits, and they still have a set of pain pills in case they need them. Uh, Hunter and a Spitter's up at the moment, as well as a Smoker. They spit into the doorway of the safe room. Two people outside, two people inside. They're going to go for the dual cap outside. Smoker can't connect the tongue, though, and, the, and I believe that was actually a Magnum Skeet. Uh, or was it? No, I don't think it wasn't. Boomer from below is shut down before any connection is made, and that will conclude the round with 285 bonus points. Very well played by them, um, especially especially with the tank performance. I mean, honestly, if the tank did a little bit better and they took more damage from the tank, that would have been a different story. So that's just something to work on, something they need to be aware of, because they can still narrow this gap and they can still do well. Um, it's not not nearly um, uh, uh, late enough to consider it over for uh, Cool Kids Club. Oh, for sure. It's just the first map. So we, will, we can see, like, some other... Things later on. For uh, the second half of chapter number two um, of map one, which is going to be uh, 911, they are uninfected. They're going to have a freight tank uh, for this game. Uh, maybe one or two attacks will happen before the tank, so they need to be careful of that. Uh, nonetheless, they just do, just have, simply have to be careful of the freight tank, really. Um, in that room, it, it mostly comes down to the boomer, because as we saw, not having a boomer can, can make the tank very difficult to play, and that is going to be a reason he didn't do so well um, without the boomer. Yes, I agree. Just waiting for one more player to ready up, um, which uh, I'd say, not surprisingly, is um, Slipknot. <laughs> 38% tank, as we say, so um, two attacks. Uh, the first attack is going to be... Uh, Actually, I can't see it. A uh, midnight. Would you mind respectating? Because according to my screen, you're a spitter, and I uh, know you're not. <laughs> yep. So we have a charger, boomer, hunter, um, and the final spawn is a smoker. So same as last time. <laughs> I have to see what they can pull off here. Um, it is a pretty good setup. Uh, they just need to play it well, especially with the charger smoker combination. Uh, that is the difference maker with attacks like this. Uh, survivors are going to go to the left. 
They have a lot of rooftops to watch out for here, so they need to be careful. Hunter spawned up. Boomer from behind gets a boom onto two survivors. Everybody else moving in. Separation. Ooh. There's a stumble. Could even be a tri -cut. Very nicely cleared on the charger, though. Um, Hunter still trying to get a pounce. Gets a pounce onto Rochelle, but the smoke is still going in the back. Big struggle in the commands where they can't clean the Hunter on Rochelle. Yeah, there's still a Hunter on Rochelle. She's going to nearly go down. Uh, they will be able to find some pain pills for her shortly after, but that's a lot more damage than they're going to hope for, especially before the tank. It was a hell of a tank. Yeah, I mean, you can't fault them. You can't really fault uh, 911, though. They did a very good attack there. Um, very well played with the Charger interception and the smoker separate. As I say, they did find that set of pain pills, though, and uh, Rochelle has immediately consumed those. Uh, Boomer's rocketing from the top, but is shut down by Rochelle. Uh, nicely played there, and, but they do trigger the alarm, though that kind of uh, reverses the effects of popping the Boomer there. Uh, just minus the division. Charger smoker combination there in the corner, as well as the spit onto him as well. That's a good damage onto, um, onto Ellis. They're spreading the damage very well here, and clearly playing a slightly more dominant infected round uh, is Team 911. Which, you know, it's 911, but obviously is. I do not enjoy these not safe for work names. It's difficult to keep a track, keep a track of them, really. Yeah. <laughs> so we do have Frape's tank spawning. The hunter just dies mid air there because he goes AI. <laughs> so that was interesting. Uh, Boomer rockets down. He doesn't even rocket, he just walks down. Gets a boom onto one survivor. Uh, they weren't quite aware of him at the right time. Survivors are going to jump through the gap in the, uh, the wall there over the boxes. Uh, aside from one survivor who is still on the other side and is boomed, he's going to have a jockey on him. Jockey has landed, but it isn't able to get the distraction. There is a charger unable to land. Get some scratches. Well, one scratch onto Nick. Tank is trying to move the car in, but it's just not cooperating, which is a recurring theme, especially on this map. Um, car is in position, but not the best position. Uh, throwing some rocks, but unable to make anything happen. He's on 35% of pass number one. Uh, currently 45 seconds into this tank gameplay, uh, as they're in. Sorry, God. And survivors already down for to medkits. Yeah, that is a point. Yeah, so even if they do make it, they're going to be slightly behind. Uh, smoker does go from the doorway and will be shut down. I believe they did that on purpose to get rid of the smoker. However, they need to be careful that the rage meter here is on 60% of pass number two. So far, only taken 98 damage is the tank on 98% health. Uh, not declining very much, so he will have a good health margin to work with. He's going to be moving in now uh, from behind the truck. Going to go straight through the doorway here. Going to look for the first pin. There is a hunter spawned up. There is a boomer as well, which he needs to be very careful of. Misses the first punch, and they and they pop the boomer just landing on one. Gets a nice double punch, though. The tank does. That's one person in caps and two people in caps already from punches. Hunter is the last spawn remaining. He has actually managed to pin Ellis and the Hunter goes for Coach there. Is dead stop but is not killed and he's behind the fence. He's going to pin Coach and that could be it for them. I think, believe it is it for them. Unfortunately, we've seen a very early white in the tank fight. Uh, cool Kids Club have been white, unfortunately. <laughs> he just left? What? I believe he's, he's re... Yeah, uh, so we're seeing a reboot while the match, uh, while the, we transition into chapter number two. Well, uh, unfortunately, the point margin between these teams is absolutely uh, is significant. You know, you can't deny it. This is only map number one going into map number two. And the point margin is, as you can see on your screens, very, very big. Yeah, that's how we play the tank right there. It wait for a uh, support. Like if the tank is chipped a lot, you actually go with the support. But what the uh, team Cool Kids Club they, uh, did a huge mistake there was the I think was a hunter went kind of early there, and it got cleaned pretty fast. I feel like so. Yeah, like need to be careful about it, especially about those tanks. Play. Yeah, absolutely. I do agree with you there. The the uh, there was a difference that we saw in the performance of the special infected assistants with the tank. Um, yeah, that nine one one did a much better job in terms of waiting to pin somebody. The boomer actually landed as well, and that's an advantage they had of actually having a boomer, um, which can be a real difference maker. Uh, more so in closed areas, and that was indeed a closed area, so um, that can be a difference maker there. Yeah, of course, the boomer helps a lot, as you said earlier. Indeed. Um, just waiting for uh, Slipknot's return. He has returned in 43 second loading time. That's uh, that's, that's quite long. Um, might be a an, uh, might be time for a PC update. 
Gonna be waiting for everybody to ready up here. One person per team. We are gonna see a Smurf tank here on uh, chapter number two um, on the Cool Kids Club. They, um, uh, as we said, Smurf is their sub, so he is actually going to be playing uh, chapter two's tank as well as chapter four's tank. So their substitute is actually going to be playing two of their tanks, which is a very interesting decision, and I quite like it. Boomer Spitter Hunter and a Smoker is what they have to work with. They don't have a Charger um, for this setup, but they do have a Hunter to work with the Spitter, um, and the Boomer can cause some havoc with the Smoker separation. Uh, there's going to be the Smoker from the roof, Boomer from the roof, and Spitter from the roof. The only spawn that's not on the roof is the Smoker jumps down. Uh, Hunter's going to be moving in without the rest of the spawn. Separation smoke in, in the uh, open area there. Boomer onto two survivors. Not very much is going to happen though other than some scratches from the Spitter and the Boomer collectively. Uh, attack will be closed and they're going to be moving to the right here. Um, and they'll be clearing. But yeah, I mean, I, I suppose they don't have the most experience on the map because here normally you'd go straight forward through that house, but that is, which is exactly what they tried to do. But they obviously you can't do that. You have to go a, a much larger distance around it. Hunter, jockey, smoker, and a spitter are up so far. Um, well, that's not so far. Those are the spawns. Uh, it is going to be a tricap minus the charger, and they're probably going to attack just before the survivors make it through this kind of storage room here. Hunter is pouncing quite high up. He's on the roof, probably looking for a 25 damage. Hunter, uh, a smoker is moving in for distraction, but the, the hunter is shut down midair. Some stumbles in the spit actually, but not much happening, and that will conclude the attack. Survivors making their way through the storage unit here, and they'll be uh, they'll be looking for a. Um, uh, yeah, the tank is going to spawn here. I was just about to say, 30%. He is now spawned in the hands of Smurf, so we're going to have to see what he can bring to the table to a team that he doesn't actually belong to. He's only substituting, so it'll be really... I'm really excited to see what he can bring. There's a jockey and a boomer um, for the setup, and accompanied with a smoker. Um, normally, this wouldn't be a good setup, but I actually think it's quite a good setup for a tank because of the separation potential. Uh, survivors are just going to be under this, um, under this very large steel framework here, uh, which can protect them from rocks if the tank decides to... Tanks just repositioning onto the roof in front of the survivors. 30% of pass number one and gradually declining. He's going to be throwing some rocks from on top. Um, although they're very aware of it, so there need, need to be some good uh, support for him. He's already taken 800 damage uh, and it's declining even further. Um, so he needs to be careful about how much he shows himself. 20% of pass number one, so he hasn't passed it yet, uh, but they're going to need to decide what they want to do. He's just just like gone on to pass number two now. I think they're probably just communicating on what they want to do and how they want to play this um, as he's throwing rocks to delay some time. Just kind of surprised the tank is losing control even the survivors are not hiding. Yeah, well, he's moved in now and he's already on 3000 HP and, and ticking down. There's a separation smoker. Uh, is shut down immediately though. There's a jockey moving in. Boomer onto one survivor. He's trying to get a hitable there, a really small one. He can't make a punch with anybody and he probably will go down before he can actually get a single punch. Um, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Really, uh, partly due to the support. I have to say, the support wasn't the greatest, but nonetheless, that is a tank dying with no punch landed or rock or anything. Well, that made it easy for Team 9-11 right there. Yeah. I think it's a map, map knowledge in the first place, I feel like. Not sure. Indeed. I mean, I, I can definitely see a difference there with the map knowledge. As you say, there's um, clearly one team has practiced a little bit more than the other, and that's working in their favor at the moment. Hunter, Charger, Smoker, and a Boomer. So it's a tri-cap without the Spitter and without the Jockey. Reloading. There's a hunter on top just scratching the glass and making sure it's not a problem, although nobody is on the roof actually, so it won't be a problem anyway. Boomer from below, nice boom onto three survivors, they're gonna move in with it. Uh, nice dual cap here actually, no chance for a tri cap though because smoke is outside, but the hunter victim is on top. Considering the tank died with no punches, they're making up for it with some good damage here. Smoker gets some last minute damage, not able to make much happen, so you, as you can see, Coach took a lot of damage there, nice attack. It's looking like they're probably going to have uh, Coach consume some pills here. Because um, I don't think they're going to want to use their medkits this early. Uh, especially considering they do give, uh, give bonus points. 
Jockey Spitter and a Charger is what they have to work with for this ramp. Uh, they will be accompanied with a Boomer. So they have a 2-2 here which with a Charger and a Jockey. Uh, Jockey is moving in already actually. He's going to look for some scratches and Charger moving in along with him. Uh, cleared immediately. Spitter's going to spit on the ramp and get some delay. Boomer didn't go in with everybody so I believe that probably wasn't the most ideal location to go. Boomer's still waiting on the generator. He's probably going to reposition and wait for the rest of his spawns. Um, they really need some more attacks like that one if they want to keep the pressure up and if they want to stay in the game because the point margin is only getting bigger. So they need to make sure that they're holding their way. Boomer Hunter Jockey accompanied with a Charger. So it is a tricap. Boomer from behind gets a boom onto one survivor. Uh, two, two spawns on the generator, they're all moving in unanimously, there is a hunter who misses the pounce and Charger is shut down before any connection is made. All the spawns is, uh, are just completely obliterated before they can connect with anybody and that will conclude the attack. Going to be waiting at least 13 seconds before the final, um, before the next attack. However, all of the uh, survivors are on good HP and have their movement speed increased to the maximum, so they may be able to actually make it. Um, through the stairs here. I do hear a witch actually. Yeah, the witch is below. She's actually uh, after the crescendo and um, below on the floor. Smoker's going to try and get a pull off the ledge there. Not able to make anything happen. Boomer onto two survivors. Hunter onto Ellis there in the corner. They melee the hunter off but don't get the kill actually. He's stuck in the spit. Ellis is. Uh, does take some damage. Um, nothing to rave about though. It is actually not very much and he's still fast. They're probably going to look to trigger this crescendo here and then um, progress further forwards. They will. This infected will be getting one more attack, most likely before the gate opens. Going to be waiting five more seconds for the next attack. Um, I'm going to see what they can uh, continue to make happen here. Smoker, hunter, boomer, and a jockey um, will be the setup for this uh, for this attack. Need to make something happen with the smoker, really, um, to get somebody pulled off the ledge and um, the jockey could do the same thing and the hunter can with the stumbles, so that's what it's going to come down to here. Let's see what they can do. Boomer's waiting in a way that I believe he's going to go first and he will do just that. Two survivors boomed, actually. They might go for the non-booms, guys. Nice pull off the ledge there onto Rochelle. This could be what the hunter is moving in as well as the jockey. Hunter is dead before he can actually, um, before the jockey can land. So they couldn't get any more hanging. Uh, nonetheless, uh, they got somebody hanging and that's going to delay them. They'll be uh, getting to reviving Rochelle. But uh, Nick gets a nice cut on the tongue there with his melee weapon. However, he just he can't get her up because the smoker's just still there. They need to kill the smoker. Jockey moves in as well. Can't get the stumble. Can't get the connection and will be dead stops and killed. Very unlucky for them. They could have actually made more happen there. Yeah, I saw smoker miss actually twice there, but, but it was unfortunate. But it was a nice attack, to be honest. Charge is going to be dropping down here, trying to uh, get him off the ledge there, but connects with the stairs instead. Nice crown by Ellis at the bottom there, who will be played by Martin, the sub. Um, smoker and a spitter are the only spawns. Final, yeah, it's going to be a boomer, so it's a boomer, smoker, and a spitter. Not really the best attack that you're going to hope for in a cane field um, with the spitter, really. You want separation. Uh, Smoker's going to go for Ellis in the back here. Does get the connection and will get the in cap potentially. Oh, just barely freeze him. There's a boomer onto two survivors as well. Uh, Ellis has one HP, so he needs to be very careful of uh, scratches and friendly fire and everything, really. They do actually in cap him uh, uh, like a, with friendly fire. Spit's going to go on to him to delay him, uh, and they I don't believe they're even aware he's there at the moment. Um, Hunter goes on to uh, Ellis, but will be shut down. Smoker onto Rochelle, but is cleared before much damage can happen, and you know they're all going to be down for at least 13 seconds. Oh, you want. Going to be making their way through the doorway and potentially even into the safe room with all four medkits again, which they're, they're, they're increasing the gap quite significantly here. They're playing very well. 300 bonus points. With a total of 1,785 points. It's just, ooh, very large point difference here, which they're going to, you know, they need to make it with all four medkits, really, if they want a chance to stay in the game. And I, I don't doubt for a second that they're not capable. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're very capable. I don't doubt for a second they're capable, actually. That was a double negative. That basically means I doubt they're capable. And that's not what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, but they are capable. We're going to see, uh, actually, uh, a recurring theme here on map 2 at least is going to be both of the subs for each team are going to be playing the tanks. Uh, Martin will be playing this tank for...
Martin, who have we got on the tank? So, it's going to be a same, similar case as before. Um, we're going to see uh, the sub playing the tank. Let's just see what he can bring to the table. And um, obviously, for his sake, he's going to be hoping he can bring a little bit more to the table. It wasn't really Smurf's fault, though, um, because the support wasn't ideal. But nonetheless, he's still going to hope for a slightly better performance. Going live just now. Um, tank at 30%, so, you know, uh, one attack and then it'll be up pretty much, unless the attack is, uh, slows them down enough for another one. Smoker, Boomer, Hunter, and a Spitter. Uh, Smoker from behind the truck. They're probably going to look to intercept whoever he goes for there. Three spawns from above the survivors. Uh, Boomer tries to drop down there, isn't able to make anything happen. Interception attempt by the Hunter is spat on as well. Uh, by Yeah, Nick is in the spit there for a little bit, but not very... Trying to pull them back into the spit, but the smoker is cleared. Uh, nicely cleared, actually, so they dealt with the attack pretty well. Let's just hope they can keep that level of performance up the whole way through. We've got two spawns coming up in four seconds. Uh, the first one is going to be a jockey, and he'll be accompanied with a boomer. So they do have a boomer. It just depends if they want to save it for the tank, because uh, Martin is becoming the tank, and the... A boomer is in the hand. He's going to drop down from behind and shut down before he can get a boom, though. Um, Jockey is temporarily onto Nick there, and the hunter's trying to pounce somebody in the spit. Coach is in the spit for a little bit, but won't be taking too much damage, so they're not too scared about that, and they will be looking to trigger the tank now after that attack. And similarly, they're probably going to be looking to take the tank under the uh, large metal framework there. Tank is now up and will be in the hands of Martin. They're going to be moving back to the metal framework. Hunter, Smoker, and a Boomer is what they have to work with. Um, the Boomer is pretty much going to be the difference maker here if they can land it. Um, depends whether they want to play a long tank or not, though. It is possible. Tank's just going to be repositioning uh, onto the roof. Um, or is he? He's taking a slightly different route. He's going to be going over the generators and over the little catwalk there. This is taking... a slightly better position because he can actually see the survivors, so he's not losing the control that much. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Um, he's taken 500 damage so far. Smoker onto Rochelle there. They can't actually shoot the tongue because she's behind the wall. Well, the smoker's behind the wall. The rock can't make the connection onto the hunted victim there. He's still throwing rocks through the window. They are aware of the rocks, though, and, and the, the booms guy is, is positioned very nicely on the trucks. So he's not in danger of getting hit by rocks. No rocks landed so far, and exactly 500 damage dealt to the tank, so not too much damage, actually. Still at 91%, and he's still on pass number one, so he's in a good position so far. He's just going to be looking to keep the rocks coming. And you can still see, yeah, like you say, you can still see the survivors. He's not losing rage that fast. Um, he's on 10% now, though. He is slowly losing going to be on pass number two soon if he can't land another rock. He has taken 1,000 damage in total um, so far, give or take. Jockey, Smoker, and a Charger. They have a tri-cap. They do not have a Boomer. The tank is going to be looking to go for the car in the back here, actually. Um, I have to say I slightly agree with it because um, the, the other hitable there is that little that, that mechanism that just isn't really very good. It just doesn't do too much, enough damage even if it hits. He has got the car in play, though, and it is in dan it dangerously in play. He's moving it forward now, and Coach needs to be specifically careful here. Um, he's going to abandon the car temporarily, though, and climb up onto the onto those rolls there. Um, he's going to try and get the car onto Coach. Jockey is going to try and make it easier for him. The car just barely misses. Everybody's on Coach. The tank, the charge of the jockey. The smoke is in the distance there. Uh, Coach will be going down, though and could even be killed here because the car is right on him. They need to kill this tank very, very quickly if they want to secure... And unfortunately, they can't They can't kill him in time. Um, Coach has now died to the car. He was perhaps not in the best position there. The tank is on 1,100 HP. Um, slowly taking down. He's going to try and get the curve rock around the car there, around the truck, unable to do so. He's going to try and get another in cap with the car. Uh, Ellis in an open area, but he dies before he can make the connection with the car. Boomer is killed before he can land the boom. Unfortunately for them, though, they have lost coach, so they're three, they're three people, one man down. It was very well played, very well, very good decision taking the car right there. I really agree with that. It was cool. Absolutely, yeah. Um, indeed, it was probably the right decision. Maybe a decision that uh, 911 should have... Um, no, sorry, Cool Kids Club should have done um, previous chapter. Uh, so they only have three survivors to work with here, and I'm, you know, I'm hoping to see a good performance because we can... I've seen what two survivors can do, actually, um, in this tournament. Jockey moves in first, dead stops and killed. Hunter nicely skeeted there by Smurf, um, aka Rochelle. Well played by him. Uh, final remaining spawn is a smoker, uh, but the smoker's probably not going to look to go in here. 
Um, the witch is very, very late. She's 81%, and she's after the crescendo ahead. So they have still they still have the witch to, to worry about if they even make it to her. It's a possibility they won't, because with three survivors, it's more difficult. Hey, I'm reloading. For very obvious reasons. Look out. Hey, look out. And you also have to remember as well that the distance points they accumulate is reduced, because with three survivors... Boomer from on top, though, can't make the connection. Charger moving in as well, just is shut down immediately. There's a smoker still in the back, though, ticking away that damage. Uh, Ellis took a lot of damage there, um, so that will conclude the attack. There's some good damage coming onto the board, but they still have two pain pills. A smart survival player is on the point right now, as I see. He's shutting down the hunters, leveling the chargers. Very cool. Absolutely, and uh, we cannot forget as well that he is the substitute, so he's he's pulling his weight pretty good, uh, especially with that hunter skeet. That was very impressive. So we have a hunter, smoker, jockey, and a boomer, um, which will be the tricap without the charger and without a spitter. I'm curious to see what they do with the boomer, because both of these teams are showing they're very good at shutting down boomers if they go first. And obviously boomers are very loud and have very low... Boomer from on top, actually speaking of that, he actually manages to get a boomer first. They're going to go for the tricap here. Everybody's waiting and ready. Hunter pounces in, gets the pounce. Jockey lands as well. Uh, Smoker lands, but the hunter is cleared before, before the tricap can happen, so no tricap um, is successful there. They're going to be moving forward two sets of pain pills, three sets of medkits. Um, however, you know, three people need pain pills, but only two of them um, have them. Smoker Rochelle's in the in back here. Onto Rochelle. They're not communicating, I don't think. So unfortunately, Rochelle will go down in the back here. Uh, Smoker is very low, but he's already done his job. He can just go back and get a respawn and call it a day. Boomer from on top is going to get the boom onto two survivors, including the in caps guy. Uh, Hunter and Charger moving in in unison. Uh, Charger cannot get the charge, but there is a Hunter landing anyway. Smoker secures the deal onto Nick. So obviously the the, um, the in caps guy, Rochelle, is going to go down. That's going to conclude the round again. There's another white. Very unfortunate for um, Team Cool Kids Club. They are not doing as well as they would want to, really. Yeah. That was a huge mistake there, didn't clear the, like, forgot the Rochelle there, and uh, getting killed, god damn. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, speaking of Smurf, though, he has done 45% of the SI damage um, for his team, so nearly half. Which, obviously, you know, as a full Skeet is 250 damage, and a full Charger level is 600, so if you're doing that well and you're shutting down all the spawns, you're going to add up the damage quite well. Nonetheless, there is a very large point margin to cover here, and they need to pull out some very good players if they want to narrow it, which is very possible. Um, but likelihood, uh, you know, they're going to have to pull out the stops. Uh, we do have a tank at 57%. Uh, they probably were hoping for a slightly earlier tank than that. And speaking of tank, it's going to be in the hands of Frey. So we're going to see a Frey. Have to see what he can bring to the table here. Um, Frey being one of the younger players um, of the of the lineup here. Of the lot for that to come on into you, man. <laughs> even, yeah, even that. Yeah, well, yeah. We got some because uh, I, when I when I was playing back in the day, I was about what fourteen or something. So you know, it was uh, that was back in two thousand and eleven time or twelve. So good to see some uh, some uh, some young faces as well as um, well all age ranges really. There's a diverse range of age ranges in this game. Just going to be waiting for the Cool Kids Club to um, to be readying up here. And so far I'm seeing... Well, I'm seeing a Jockey Smoker and a Charger. Uh, I can't see what they're accompanied with, though. Uh, which... Is it? Is it a Spitter? It looks like a Spitter. Is, I think it's... Yeah. Yeah, well, actually, they might be looking to attack inside with this, um, considering the Charger-Spitter combination with the Smoker. It's personally what I would do. Um, I don't know about these guys, though. They are looking like they might want to. Survivors are trying to bait up the spawns. They, they, they know what the spawns are, so they're aware of it. Jockey spawns up in the room there, trying to get uh, a charger moves in. Misses the charge, though, and there's going to be a smoker victim in the spit, but he gets out very instantaneously because of the players. Uh, not much damage happening, unfortunately, for um, Cool Kids Club. Going to be making their way through the open area here. There's um, going to be spawns down for at least 10 seconds if they want to get a four-person attack. And as I've said in the previous match, if anybody was around, uh, the added benefit of uh, for the infected of map 3 and 4 is that there's storms, as you're seeing here. It distorts the vision and makes it more difficult to play, really. It is uh, very annoying. 
if you're on the survivor side. Very good if you're on the infected side. Boomer, Charger, Jockey, and a Smoker, so we do have a tricap. Jockey moving in first, Charger moving in shortly after. Boomer from the truck getting a Boomer to one survivor. The Charger stumbles off of Rochelle though and isn't able to connect, and unfortunately that will pretty much conclude the attack after one scratch onto Coach from the Smoker. Still on very good health is uh, Team 911. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't like to see that much unsynchronization from the team Gulkut Club after the two maps. It's kind of unfortunate. Indeed, yeah, I mean, they, they do seem to be a little bit, um, maybe just demoralized by this point, to be honest, because when you press tab and see that big of a point difference, it does get Oi. to your head a little bit. True that. <laughs> God damn. Forgot yeah, about let's, it. Let's, let's just hope that they don't let it get to them too much and they continue to play. Uh, there is a Hunter, Jockey, Spitter, and a Charger. Hunter is directly above the survivors here. We do have a pause um, by Team 911. Um, all survivors are in the safe room. Not safe, safe room? What? Uh, no, the uh, the house here. And they're going to have to go out onto the catwalk. We are a very short pause, actually. We're going to be going left. I believe they're probably going to send the Hunter in first for the stumbles, ready to make something happen with the Charger. They do have a spitter to work with as well. Um, jockey for the second. Jockey moves in first, tries to get the hang. Um, he gets full damage actually. He sends um, sends Ellis straight off there. Charger moving from the back here. Gets a charge in the doorway and they both drop down, so that's going to be some damage happening onto him. Two pummels. Uh, he'll go down before any more, but that's good damage actually. The that door. was good, that was good. Good attack, good attack. Oh, <laughs> coach is hanging and there. <laughs> coach is hanging above. I'm not sure what he was planning on doing there, but uh, yeah, I mean, he's just going to slow them down a little bit. That could actually be what they need to get another attack here. Um, I think he was just trying to be cool and jump over there, but unfortunately he just left himself hanging, so <laughs> not, uh, not <laughs> ideal for him. Smoker, Boomer and Hunter will be accompanied with a Jockey, so it's a tricap without the Charger, um, and the Boomer can make something happen here. Boomer rockets in, they don't know he's there, so he gets the Boomer to one survivor. Uh, Smoker's going to go on to Rochelle, the Boom's victim across there. Nice eight damage pounds and interception there, though, by the Hunter. That's going to be a lot of damage onto Rochelle. Very good damage, very good coordination, and need to keep this up. They really do. And as we said, they don't have that much synchronization. They're just pulling those attacks now, so... Maybe yeah, they're, yeah. yeah, maybe they just maybe they heard me say it. Maybe they just heard heard us say the synchronization <laughs> is bad, and suddenly they improve. You know, maybe they can hear us. Never know. So there is a charger um, with a boomer for this tank, and uh, you know, tank is going to be in the hands of Frey. Charger, smoker, and a boomer um, are going to be the support. Pretty good support, really. If the boomer can land, um, the charger can charge somebody into the open, um, as well as the smoker. There's a lot of separation potential, which is very crucial during tank fights. Just going to be throwing rocks from the generator here. The survivors are underneath the metal, um, the metal rooftop. Being inside that means the tank can't play long, but it makes it difficult with the boomer. The boomer can land a lot easier. Not very much happening so far. The boomer's going to rock it from above. They don't know he's there, so he gets a boomer to one survivor. The rock just barely misses it. Connects with the roof instead. Uh, Charger gets a, about one scratch, I believe, but then goes. Uh, tank is not able to land any rocks and is on 100% of pass number uh, one. Um, so he has only just started to lose rage. Um, however, the survivors are moving back. They don't agree with being here. They're going to go back instead. They're going to move to a different location. Tank is just going to be chasing them, but he may actually have to give up his first pass here as a result of them running back, um, which may force him to actually move in. Although they have to climb up the ladder here, so they need to be careful. If they're going to go any further back, um, they're in a bad position for the Boomer here, actually. Boomer can go from below. Uh, however, they appear to be waiting. I think they think the survivors are going to run even further back. Uh, however, Tank is on 5% of pass number 2. He needs to be careful here uh, with losing it. Uh, Jockey's going to get some separation onto Ellis there. However, if they go behind that framework, he might lose it. He's going to try and land the rock here. Gets a nice rock onto Rochelle and just about replenishes his rage on 5% rage. Nicely done there. Could land another rock. Does land another rock, actually. Nicely done onto Nick there. They're taking so much damage. This is what we want to see. Uh, Frey showing some uh, good skill on the tank with these rocks, um, landing two so far. Very well played. That rock just all, if that was a little bit further to the side, it could have made a connection there. 60% uh, 50, uh, 60 of pass number two, continuing to throw the rocks. I'm not sure this is the best place to fight the tank. They may have actually made a mistake with going. Tank is going to reposition to maintain line of sight um, on the this other roof here, this kind of curved roof. Nicely done uh, with the map.
Smoker Charger and a Jockey is the support. Smoker tries to get separation, but will go down immediately. Uh, Tank is going to try and separate Ellis here. Does not connect, however. Jockey is getting a Rochelle in the distance, as well as the Charger. Charger will be shut down, but that is going to be an in-cap onto Rochelle and an in-cap onto Ellis. Two in-caps. Tank on 2,500 HP. Going to try and connect the rock there uh, onto Nick. Isn't able to do this so. This can be gonna... huge. Yeah, he's trying to reposition here. He might actually look to drop down onto Coach there. He's going to do just that. Um, does not land the punch though, and he may actually go down before he can make anything else happen. He does do just that, and Wolf will be going down. Hunter moves in, uh, will be shut down midair. It looks very good, but unfortunately, they still managed to kill the tank. Uh, 911 did. Yeah, nice damage by the fray, to be honest. And like, I, I'm not sure if I agree with the survivors coming that big. I mean, it was a safe decision because fighting the tank in this area is kind of safe if you really uh, care about boomers and stuff. Like, if you actually cover the. Sp Ooh. Yeah, speaking of, yeah, I mean, uh, speaking of safe, there's, um, there was a charge there, but cleared immediately, so continue. Yeah, and the first choice of the fighting the tank, it's actually a good spot as well, in my opinion. Like, if you go inside that room there, you can, uh, you have, like, less spawns to cover. Nice boomer on two survivors there, actually. Jockey moving in as well, but um, only a smoker remaining. Probably not going to attack, um, so... There we have it. If you'd like to continue again, then feel free. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's alright. Just like it depends on the choice. I fight the things in the room and there, like in the place they choose. It's like it really depends. It's kind of random to be honest, but depends on it. Yeah, I suppose it can also depend on how you like to play the game as well, because um, some some teams just get better, really better performances attacking um, the tank inside. Hunter from behind is going to be moving in, trying to intercept with the Smoker, but he ends up stealing the Smoker target instead. Uh, charger from in front. Smoker tries to distract for the Charger, but the Charger will be shut down before anything can happen. And only a Spitter remaining. Going to spit on the uh, on the uh, walkway there to delay them. He can still jump through the uh, window, though. Nick can. So Martin, a.k.a. Ellis, is probably going to need to look to heal unless they can find some pain pills. And they will be getting rid of all of their medkits soon enough if they can't. He's close to going down, and one more in cap means he will be black and white. I kind of feel like they wanna don't heal him so he can trigger the witch right here. That is also a good point. Yeah, the witch is now up. Um, she was quite a late witch spawn. Um, Charger, jockey, boomer, and a smoker. There's a boomer already going in onto one survivor. Um, still, we know that's gonna delay them a little bit. Maybe they want a spitter instead. Uh, they are gonna choose to heal Ellis though, so no more medkits. Now they need to be very careful of how much damage they take. And it is a pretty good setup with the Charger, Jockey and Smoker. All of those spawns can make it very difficult to kill the Witch. And they're very prepared for it as well. Um, you know, the Witch is just on top there, on the stairs. She is now aggravated and is looking for her... Looking to trigger her. They are triggering her now. Spawns are moving in though. Um, he can, Rochelle can get the Remote Crown. Charger does not make a connection. Jockey is dead, stops and killed. Spitter is killed. Charger is killed. Everybody is killed. And that will conclude the um, attack with the witch being dealt with. It's really unfortunate for Team Cool Kids Club. It was really important uh, attack for them right there. Yeah, absolutely. The witch could have could have um, given them a really big chance to wipe them. But unfortunately, the survivors, despite having no... They are making their way further forward. One more attack will be... Um, will be dealt out by the Cool Kids Club. It'll be a Boomer, Charger, Jockey, and a Hunter. Or most of which are on the roof of the safe room. Charger moves in and charges into the doorway, and we'll, Boomer gets a Boomer to one survivor. Jockey is shut down. Hunter's getting a pounce onto Nick in the doorway, but they know where he is. They're going to kill him quickly. And again, the survivors are going to make it into the safe room. 9-1-1 uh, are really, really increasing this point margin to the point where it's going to be very difficult for uh, Cool Kids Club. More than 2k difference. Goddamn, that's huge. Indeed, yep. Um, it is actually more than 2,000, as you say. So, <laughs> And we're also seeing that 6 friendly fire is only 40% of their friendly fire, so they're keeping the friendly fire down as well, is um, Team 911. And for this map, uh, we are going to see a tank in the hands of Freight, similarly to map... Freight will become the tank. So, just going to be waiting for the Cool Kids Club to ready up here. We've already got 911 um, ready. Going to be seeing probably an inside attack again, which is going to be with the Charger, Jockey, a Smoker, and the Spitter. 
Um, they're going to hope to connect the Charger. They have shown to be very good on, on, the, um, on the infected side, so the Cool Kids Club need to be very careful of the fact that there is a Charger-Spitter combination ready and waiting inside this room. I didn't know that, so they should be prepared. Yeah, let's hope they are. Especially, I think one of them is, is least going to have a melee weapon as well. Smoker's going to pull first in this. Uh, he's not cleared in time, actually, and there's going to be a charge in the spit. That's not good for him. That is That's not good not for ideal. him at all. He nearly went down. He's going to have to use his med kit immediately. Just first attack, and they've already de uh, uh, just completely uh, depleted the med kit. So well played by uh, 911. Unfortunate for Cool Kids Club. All the spawns will be down for at least five seconds now. Um, yeah, just going to be making their way forward, hoping to trigger the tank after the next attack they have to deal with. Um, Smoker, Boomer, Spitter, and a Jockey. Uh, Boomer's going in first, going to be unfortunately missing. There is a Jockey dead stops and shot into the face with a um, with a shotgun. Spitter from behind the train there isn't able to make a connection with anybody. He's still going to try though. Um, she can try to get some separation potentially. Um, he gets some separation onto Coach in the back, but they're aware of him, and they do clear the smoker, um, as well as nearly kill the smoker. He's on um, 23 HP, very low. Charger, Boomer, Jockey, and a smoker is the setup. Um, the smoker has respawned, but is on half HP, so it's going to be easy to kill. Going to be making their way, and uh, Ellis very lucky there to cut the tongue. Uh, Jockey moves in in the front there, goes for Frey, aka Rochelle, but is shut down. Smoker from behind trying to trying to smoke somebody in the back. Uh, isn't able to make a connection yet though and probably won't be able to. Uh, two survivors are very near to each other and they know where the smoker is. Um, he gets a last minute smoke onto Rochelle, but she is cleared before any damage can happen. There's so far just the Charger. Uh, two more spawns coming up in two seconds. A Charger, Spitter and a Boomer. I must say I liked how they closed the door on the smoker, so preventing for the separation. That was cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, indeed. Uh, there is a boomer moving in from the rooftop, getting a boom by Ooh. box. There's a charge separation into the uh, little like coal train there. Unfortunately, the spit wasn't prepared for that and couldn't spit onto that guy, so it looked very good, but the spitter thought he was going to stop on, on the catwalk rather than below. I didn't yeah. took that much damage from the charger. That's interesting. Because he was flying. Yeah, I mean, he he just, uh, I really, he just wasn't high enough. Um, he needs to be a little bit higher if he wants to get an in-cap from that. Because if they're high enough and you charge them down, um, they end up getting a end up getting an in-cap. So. Sorry, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Smoker in the back there is going to be um, going to be smoking coach, but will be clear. There is a separation jockey in the room there. The spit is just going to delay them. Wall kick in the spit there onto Ellis, and he may even go down from this. Uh, actually, yeah, the spit runs out just in time. Nonetheless, there is Rochelle in the room there, and she's taking damage. That <laughs> The jockey's still scratching. He's not being killed. Uh, so they have taken a lot of damage. Um, unfortunately, some very sloppy gameplay uh, coming out of Cool Kids Club. Not sure why they eat the pills before the tank. I, I think there was like just a panic kind of thing. Yeah, maybe. They're going to be slow right now. It's going to be very slow. Yeah, absolutely. Um, tank is going to be positioning onto the generators here. Uh, going to be throwing some rocks. They need to be aware of this, though. He's uh, throwing his first rock. It does not make a connection. They just skeeted. They have a jockey charger and a smoker, so no boomer, but they do have a tri cap and they have a lot of separation potential. All three of the spawns can separate. Trying to chip in with the magnum there. Um, magnum in the hands of uh, Slipknot, aka Coach. Still on 100% of pass number one. They're going to be breaking line of sight in the house here. Uh, he's on 70 or 80% and isn't declining very much though. Charger moves in, gets two scratches and will separation smoker and onto uh, coach at the lorry. No connection from the rocks. However, Jockey's moving in as well. Uh, Rock is flying in but is not able to make a connection again. Tank is still maintaining line of sight very well at 70%. However, not for much longer. The sport, the the, uh, the storm is now up, which means he's going to lose sight even if he can see the survivors. 25% um, and declining. He's going to go on to his second pass as a result of the storm, uh, most likely. And he does just that, 100% of the pass number two and still declining. He's going to have to make a decision to go in. However, he's on 5,700 HP, so a good health margin. Smoker Hunter and a Charger will be the support. Uh, they don't have a Boomer to work with, so we'll have to see how they play. No rocks have landed so far, but they are going to continue the long tank for a little bit longer. 
However, because the survivors are underneath the roof there, they're, you know, they're not in any, any danger of rocks. So the tank's going to be moving, going to be climbing onto the safe room roof, um, potentially looking to throw some more rocks, which is exactly what he's going to do. 900 damage taken so far. No boomer to be scared of, though. Just the, just the smoker hunter and charger. And the water. That's the slowing down. Oh, yeah. Good point. Actually, I forgot about that. Good point. Yeah, the, the water slow down as well. We need to be careful of that. Water is not ideal. Reloading. Indeed. Um, he nearly makes the connection with uh, Coat, with uh, Nick there. Tank's going to be moving. He gets stumbled by the propane canister, though. That was very good by them. Gets a double punch, though, for, for his troubles. He's going to be in-capping Ellis here. Uh, there's a hunter onto in the in-capped Ellis. Uh, Tank's going to try and intercept the smoker victim there. Tries another punch onto Nick. There is a charger in the distance. This could be it for them. He needs to pin uh, Nick if he wants to secure the deal here. Nick is out of the way. Everybody's just in so many different locations, and that's going to be it. They've been wiped. 2,000 health remaining on the tank still. Well, that's the water slowdown, as I was talking about. I'm not sure why they went out. It was very safer for them to fight the tank inside the room, to be honest. But the goddamn nice, well. nice, nice play from Team 911 right there. That was excellent. Indeed, good charge. Uh, they all they all kind of separated them in different locations as well. The charger charged one way, the smoker smoked the other. The coordination was on the yeah, point. Places Absolutely. Um, we are going to see, for this um, this map's tank, we're going to see Tosh for 911 and Smurf again for um, the Cool Kids Club, which I will assign now. There we are, so the substitute for Cool Kids Club is going to play the second tank of the game. Um, going to see what he can bring to the table here. The, the only unfortunate thing about this map is that the tank spawns very far away. So by the time he reaches the survivors, he's already lost his first pass. Um, so if they want to play long tank, they have to land every rock, pretty much. Because, you know, on pass number two, long tanks are very risky. Just going to be waiting for the Cool Kids Club to ready up. Unfortunately, the point difference is, is uh, a little bit... Well, I mean, you know, it's a little bit below 2,000. So it is a very significant margin. And I have to say, unfortunately, it's looking like we do have our winners already. Um, but it doesn't matter. We are still going to be here. We're still going to be bringing the match to you. And we're still going to be hoping to see some performance um, despite that from the Cool Kids Club. Changed name to 20 FPS. I mean, 20 FPS wouldn't be ideal. I remember I used to play um, back in 2010. I think I was on a consistent uh, 30 FPS or something like that. No, oh, goddamn. <laughs> um, and he also yeah. have a high high ping, so uh, that's like not ideal for him, I guess. But what he can do. Yeah. Well, tank is going to be in uh, uh, 47 percent. So. Uh, Boomer goes immediately first, gets a boom onto one survivor. This, uh, there's a good uh, proxy boom, actually. Uh, Charger tries to get the separation onto Nick, but is unable to do so. Um, there is a jockey onto Rochelle, the only non-boom survivor. Some decent damage, but not as much as they're going to want. Um, Schmaldo and uh, Midnight, would you mind respectating? Because both of you are spitters, apparently. Sorry. No, we have no. some liberalization in a team of Cool Kids Club right away. You can see the Nyx changing. Yeah, indeed. Um, Boomer Hunter Charger. Uh, Hunter's pouncing around already. Um, he's just, he's probably going to be going down here, really. He's very low. He will be going down um, at that kind of dumpster uh, frame. There. So they only have a Boomer Charger and a Smoker to work with here. Uh, going to see how they play this. Uh, they're going to be coming up to a choke point here, but only with three special infected to worry about. There is a tank spawned now. As we say, in the hands of Smurf, however, he's going to be very far away. He's actually always oh, not going to be far away. I, I, I'm not used to seeing that. Normally, he spawns a lot further away, so that's um, that's a good change. I'm happy about that, because that means he doesn't have to worry about losing his first pass immediately. Yeah, and he still can work with the car right there, which is kind of like good for him. Yeah, and he's also got the tree obscuring the, uh, obstructing their vision there, which the rocks are going to be traveling through. Um, Boomer, Jockey, and the Smoker. Uh, so they do have a boomer to work with them, you know, they need to try and get at least two people boomed if they want something to happen here. Taken 350 damage so far, give or take. Uh, 354. Jockey moving in first for distraction, boomer second. 
Uh, Boomer cannot make any any connection with the Vomit, and he will be going down for his troubles. Nothing really happening there, and the tank is still on pass number one and still maintaining line of sight, though, 95%. Survivors are aware of this, and they are going to be moving forward and cutting the line of sight. And I just wanted to say, I really want to say, I really want to see a vibe from them, but this is not ideal for Team Cool Kids Club right now. Because the tank is kind of far, there is a storm, so the line of sight will be reduced, kind of um, really fast. Yeah, ex indeed. Yeah, as we mentioned before, the uh, line of sight, the storm does break that. Um, he's going to be moving back. Actually, he's going to be looking for the car. Um, however, he's on pass number two, so by the time he reaches the survivors, he may actually be giving up the tank to AI. Um, he needs to be very quick with this. Uh, he's on 20%. He still has line of sight, so he's not going to lose it but he is not going to be able to bring the car into play. They have a jockey charger and a hunter. They have a tricap. He's going to look for the first pin here. Can't find anybody yet. Does miss a punt. They're going to be looking for the tricap here. Nice uh, pounce, actually. No charger connection. He's going to be pinning Poach in the distance there, and the charger will be going down. Um, the rock connects with the hedge, actually, so the tank is not in a good position here. He's on 582 HP on 10%. Car, actually... Yeah, oh, if, if that was a little bit, a um, little bit less high, that could have actually um, encapsulated some. Just throwing some rocks in the distance here. He's going to be climbing over the hedge, um, trying to get a bit closer, but unfortunately, it will go to AI. There's a two-person boom here. There's a pull into the alarm car, which will trigger the. Jockey moving in as well onto Rochelle will be dead stops and kills. Tank is going to go in, but he is not on enough HP to make anything happen, even as AI. Um, and he will be going down. 2,500 damage dealt by Tosh there, actually. He dealt nearly half of the damage of the tank. So far, they have a spitter and a charger. That final spawns in two seconds. Uh, going to have to see what they are. It will be a boomer and a hunter. So they have a 2 2 with a hunter charge. Which is at 83% as well, so it would be slightly further forward. Uh, survivors are still maintaining all four medkits, so we want to one survivor there from below. Hunter's moving in on the guy below there. Does make the connection as well as the charger scratches. That's going to be a lot of damage there. That could even be an in-cap if the boomer gets the scratch. Nice charge again, and the pummel onto Co Very nicely done with the attacks here. Um, Splitter moving in as well. Will be shut down behind them, so no delay happening. However, they do have the Witch ahead, so they might be able to actually deal with her. Um, which they're going to do just that. They're going to trigger her for the Remote Crown. They don't get the Remote Crown, though. She actually it gets an in-cap, so they are not awarded the 25 bonus points. Um, so they weren't able to secure that. There is a Jockey, Smoker, and a Charger up. Smoker's going to pull Ellis there, but the tongue is cut immediately. Jockey goes in and is shut down as well. Charger immediately after charges into the slide there, but will be shut down. Um, Smoker from the back. From the doorway will be shut down as well. That'll do the attack, and survivors might make it into the safe room here, which probably they will, to be honest, with all four medkits again. I believe that's two or three maps. I think two where they've made it in with all four medkits. So, very dominant performance here. Making it into the safe room with 340 bonus points, so that's going to put them at a huge point of 3,550. So a little bit below 2,000 of a, of a point difference here. <laughs> <laughs> cool Kids Club are asking to be awarded 1,000 points. <laughs> so we won't look that bad. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter, guys. You know, you played well. You, you did some good performances, and it's just unfortunate. Um, I, I have to say, I think map knowledge is playing a, a little bit of a part here. So the final tank here is going to be played by Tosh. And there we are. Going to be going live. It's the final half of the final chapter. I'm um, going to see the Cool Kids Club playing Survivor and 911 playing Infected. Game going live in two seconds. So we're going to be seeing the uh, Jockey Charger Smoker combination. Um, with the uh, spitter, is it? Or is it a boomer? Yeah, it's a boomer. Yep, so we're going to see the boomer accompanying the tricap here. Spitter from behind the... Uh, no, uh, smoker from behind the truck. There's a charger and a jockey going after similar targets. 
Um, not much damage happening. There is a smoker in the distance. Speaking of damage, there is some damage happening with the smoker in the distance there at the generator. will be shut down and that will complete the attack. Let's just hope that they can uh, pull out some players here. Uh, so I'm going to respect it because those points are not making sense. There we are. Going to be waiting another five seconds for the fi for the um, next attack here. It's going to be a charger hunter and a jockey accompanied with a boomer. So they have a tri cap without the smoker and without the spitter. Reloading. Progressively making their way through. There is a boomer behind the van there. Might be looking for a. Um, can't get the spawn. We'll be getting the spawn and getting a boom actually onto Nick. They might look to attack here actually. They are going to be doing just that. Jockey moving in, uh, Hunter's moving in from over the fence. Jockey tries to go for Nick, the booms guy at the tree there. Makes a connection but is cleared just pretty much immediately. Um, Hunter and the Charger are waiting for the ladder here. That's a pretty nice delay by the infected team, I must say. The Boomer choosing that spawn and then Jockey kind of backing the Nick. That was good. Charger tries to get a connection on the ladder there, unable to do so. Hunter connects with Rochelle in the back, but will be uh, will be pretty much killed there. Smoker is the final spawn. Well, Smoker and a spitter. Spit is going to spit on the ladder to try and get a delay, but that spit actually went straight under the vehicle, so therefore it didn't doesn't appear anywhere. Tank will be in the hands of Tosh, and he's going to be moving through the house. He might even be looking to go straight in. However, it's looking like he's going to maybe play a long tank from the wind. Just barely misses the rock there. Nick wasn't aware of that rock, so he's lucky he didn't get hit. Team Kulkis Club might, must love the water, must say, because they're choosing another spawn, another spot to fight a tank with a water slowdown. <laughs> yeah, it is... Uh... It is, uh, can you, can you not wipe? <laughs> the, um... Yeah, we have some memes, Twitch chat. How's it go? Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's just throwing some rocks from the, from the window frame here. He's gonna be moving in. Uh, there's a boomer from behind, trying to get the vomit curve. <laughs> he does awesome. Nicely done there, actually. Co coordination with the tank and boomer. He's gonna be getting the in cap onto coach. Um, so that's one less person to worry about for the tank. Gets a punch on Sir Rochelle, trying to get the dual cap here. Smoker's trying to make a connection with somebody. Uh, the, he doesn't actually manage to cut the tongue, uh, is Alice, so he's going to be capped there. Jockey moving for the final guy, which is Nick. He does go down, though. Um, they're going to try and kill this Smoker. Uh, Tosh's tank is on pretty low HP, but he might be able to get the in cap. He does get the final in cap, but will be going down shortly after. That is true, actually. The storm uh, came at just the right time. Hunter's just on the rooftop, going to look for delay there. Um, he's not able to get the delay, and they do manage to revive. Um, they didn't manage to revive Rochelle there. They have one more set of pain pills, but two people need them. Hunter, Boomer, and a Charger so far. Already a devastating setup. Charger charges from on top of the roof of the shed there and gets a connection. Boomer onto three survivors. Nicely done with the pressure here. Finally, there's a, there is a jockey to try and get some more delay. Boomer delays them anyway. Jockey moves in onto Rochelle. Uh, not being cleared just yet, just finally gets cleared. Um, Coach is nearly dead. They really do need to revive Coach here, else he is going to be going down. Or dying even, he was already down. Uh, they are just about managing, so they will be able to revive Coach just about in time. Uh, Ellis is just below half HP on his, uh, on his in-capped health. Smoker, Charger, and a Hunter. So they have a tri cap already. They might look to attack with it um, without the final sp Although it doesn't look like they're going to. The Hunter's going to be going back to... Um... They still haven't moved very far, actually, to be fair. They are using some medkits and slowing themselves down. There is a Hunter on 71 HP. He's going to be moving away, uh, looking for a better position here. Charger from around the corner. They're going to be looking to move in straight away. Gets a charge scratch combination onto Nick. Uh, nearly an in-cap. There is a nice, uh, a nice shutdown on the Hunter there. Boomer gets a rocket boom, but is shut down midair, and survivors are going to move forward after they shut down the smoker there. So they're on. they're in decent enough shape to get <laughs> beyond a thousand points at least. And they are right now, nicely done. Indeed. So you know that's what they were hoping for. Um, they were hoping to, you know, not look. You know, they're obviously having below a thousand points doesn't look good on the scoreboard. So it's good that they got above. Spitter from behind has already spawned up. Charger from the ambulance getting a charge onto Nick and the Spitter will uh, combine with that. 
Hunter onto Rochelle. Jockey moving in. Gets a connection with um, with Coach there in the spit. He may even get clo well, he's close to going down. Uh, he didn't go down, but he was very close. Um, a lot of uh, very relentless pressure coming in from 911. Indeed, there seems to be unforgiven. They're just keeping the pressure up. Yeah, indeed, very unforgiving is the the right word to use for 911. They they do not forgive any mistakes. If if the enemy team makes a mistake, they capitalize on it. There is a boomer, charger, and a smoker. Final spawn in one second is going to be a jockey. So they have a tri cap and they have a boomer. They're going to trigger the witch immediately. He gets pulled though. Oh, the smoker made it too difficult for him, and the witch is going to be on him. They need to kill this witch because the witch may end up killing Ellis here. Uh, however, they do manage to kill the witch just about, um, so that's lucky for them. Charger is waiting in the room here. Boomer gets a boom onto, onto Ellis, actually, which is very dangerous. They need to be careful of that because he's got common infectors surrounding him from all directions. There is an in-cap survivor in the back as well, so they need to free, uh, free him. Ellis is nearly dead. Yeah, they can't do anything about that. He is dead. Simple as that. Three remaining survivors, however, they can still make it to the safe room for a constellation if they are quick enough. Speaking of being quick enough, though, they, they do have two slow survivors, so uh, there is a smoker and a hunter up so far, accompanied with a spitter and a boomer, so no tri-cap. Um, smoker from behind uh, at the lorry, going to be pulling uh, Nick there. Boomer from the safe room roof, getting onto all three survivors, and the spitter onto Rochelle. She stumbled in the spit. She is nearly down, uh, but not quite. And all spawns will be down for at least 13 seconds, so they should be able to make it into the safe room. Providing, of course, they help Coach here. He's a little bit outside there. He's going to have to be looking to move a bit faster. He's going to. They should be making it into the safe room for a consolation. Uh, there's going to be a jockey to deal with. However, if they make it in, he won't be a problem. And that is that. That is the game, ladies and gentlemen. Your victors are going to be uh, Team 911 um, with a huge margin of 3,550 versus Cool Kids Club's 1,361. Yeah, unfortunate, wouldn't you say? Uh, Smolder. It was interesting, interesting game. Really, Team 911 showed their true skill, even with a sub. I mean, like, both teams had a sub, but both subs, I think, were really good, really good players. But just like the coordination in Team of uh, Cool Kids Club wasn't kind of on the point of synchronization in the infected attacks, wasn't that much on point. Even some survivors' uh, runs wasn't that kind of clean. So yeah, like they just it's just need to people just need to play more together I guess and yeah. It was just pure dominance from Team Nine Eleven. Interesting game indeed, man. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. It's gonna be unfortunate to see them go. Um but we are going to be seeing um nine one one uh progress further. So, uh that's it from us guys, that's it from myself, Midnight and Schmuldo. Um that's going to be the last game for today that I will be casting anyway. Um, so we'll see you soon. Uh, tune in soon for some more games. And we're hoping to deliver some in the next week or so. See you guys. Bye.